Once again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist and I'm coming to you from my art studio with one more of my cool thoughts. <laughs> I want to share with you. I hope that they serve you as much as they've helped me. And today I want to talk to you about this quote that I wrote a while back. And it reads, art says what the mind can't explain. And I know I thought I, I've touched on this subject before in a previous uh, video, but I wanted to go a little deeper in this one. Uh, in the previous video, I talked about how an artist looks at artwork, at, at, at a, let's say a painter looks at a subject, right? Subject matter, a landscape or whatever, and, and then uh, absorbs it and then, and then puts the feeling in the, in, in the canvas or whatever, right? It, here, I want to go a little deeper. I, I, I want to touch on the, on, the, on the fact that when, when an artist looks at something, he or she is not is not conceptualizing, you know. Um, art, because because there's a lot of information out there about to, towards what is art. I think there's a lot of bad information also. Um, there's even conceptual art and this or that. And though I don't I don't have any any anything against any art form, I I I do want to say that uh, it is my understanding that. True art is not conceptualized. You know, true art is not conceptual. Uh, true art is, is spiritual. It, 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 it goes deeper. And if you want to see real art, um, all you have to do is look at artwork that was created by an artist who didn't do much thinking while creating the artwork. It doesn't mean that the artist wasn't probably uh, bananas 90% of the time, but while they were creating the artwork, and you have to look at the artwork also with the same eyes. I remember hearing this uh, from this priest. I thought it was this this really cool quote. He said, uh, uh, "When you when you start seeing things with sacramental eyes," and I thought that was very, very, very deep, very spiritual. And in 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 my understanding, all it really means is when you start seeing something with in, in the present moment. When you start seeing it in full. In full experience, when you're when you're completely there and you're not thinking, and then you're able to see, you know, kind of like when you're in front of someone, and and if you're if you're if you're not fully seeing the person, you know, you're, you're a friend, a girlfriend, whatever, if you're not fully seeing that person. What happens is that you you begin to conceptualize, you know, you start thinking about the person, short, tall, you know, big, small, whatever, and 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 and. And what happens is that you stop seeing the person. Now what you're doing is you're judging and measuring. You're judging and, you know, it's the same. Measuring is judging. You're judging. You're trying to see what, how that person fits into a concept. You're trying to conceptualize it. And it's the same thing with artwork. I, I hope I don't, I don't go bananas here with you guys, but I, I hope I'm, I'm getting my message across. It's, it's the same thing with artwork. When you see artwork, what happens is that you are experiencing it through the heart you are not experiencing it through, through the mind although you might be using your your senses your eyes your smell your you know whatever the type of artwork it is um that is not necessarily painting it could be a sculpture you're touching it you're this or that if, if they let you touch it um you're experiencing it fully you know and, and what i mean by that is that you're not thinking about it you cannot think about artwork nor, nor does the artist can think about artwork. There's a time for that, and and that certainly plays a role. It's usually in the stages of preparing. You know, I need these colors. I need that. Okay, I'm gonna. You know, these are the materials. This is how I'm going to play it out. But then that gets removed, and then what comes in is is full spiritual. It comes something else comes in that is not mental, that is not conceptual, and. I just I, I I wanted to to make this video because a lot of people uh, tend to think that art is conceptual, and although some art can be conceptual, if you want to see if you want to go uh, and 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 find true art, you need to go beyond the conceptual. You need to go beyond the the thought process. You know, it's uh, it, you need to transcend that, and the way to do it is to stop thinking. And the artist, the way to transcend the conceptual aspect of creating art the person the artist also needs to stop thinking and of course your your experience your knowledge becomes a channel it it, it, it cuts through it you know i remember my 
my my mom talking to me about this you know it's like a plow when you when 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 you're going to it's like you're sowing in, in land you know of course you need that 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 um that tool right but when 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 it's the seed it's the planting that that's a whole different uh, you know it's that's the spiritual of course you need a tool to plow you know to to cut through it and and that's your experience those are your tools your concepts your your ideas your you know all of that but at some point that needs to also step back and let the real player come in the real player is non conceptual the real player is spiritual it's a it's a whole other thing and that's why i felt compelled to to uh to uh to share this with you okay <laughs> i know i go around it but i'm trying to look for for examples for it that that i can uh, better share with you uh, again my name is jose trujillo i'm a fine art artist and thank you so much for watching